Are you guys warm? <laughs> is it as cold where you are as it is where I am? In Northeast Alabama, where it's like negative 30 degrees, it's cold. So it's Friday night. I'm at home. Let's do some makeup. Let's put on some makeup. Uh, I actually just got in from going to get something to eat. And uh, I was like, I'm going to do I'm, My goal for 2024 is to do more makeup lives. I used to do a lot of really quick reels. And people be like, it's too fast. I can't really understand what some, and I'm like, okay, I'll slow some down. So now I do like three and four and five minute, you know, little videos, but then I want to do more lives too, because it's actually time where I can talk through what I'm doing and I ain't going to be in a hurry. So let's do some makeup. Uh, I recorded a makeup look earlier uh, before I went out and the gram, the gram hates me. Absolutely. It w didn't record. And I was like, it didn't record half of it. So, um, we're just going to do, redo the makeup look that I did earlier. And I used henna contour instead of the normal ones that I use. And I really liked it. So we're going to do henna contour tonight. Um, Hey, I'm so glad you caught my life too. Yay. Um, all right. So look at here. We got so much to choose from. Look at all. These are just my contour colors here. Oh, and look at my fingernail polish. This is, of course, my LA colors that I wear, but look how pretty. This is like a purple holographic that I put over this um, burgundy color. I, I love my LA color. And I'm wearing LA colors mascara. It's like two bucks from the Dollar General, the D and G. Um, but we're going to use henna, which is this color right here. I had someone ask me a couple of days ago and I've recorded a reel that I've not posted but it was henna cooler than Astoria and they're both really cool this uh, Astoria is just a little bit darker so um but I tried it on in the video and then I'm like I like henna why am I not wearing henna more so we're gonna put henna on tonight and we're gonna use the 3d oh <laughs> yes Yes, um, I do $5. I used to do couponing. You know, Lisa, I used to do couponing. And Christy, yes, we have what? Okay, Lisa, you must watch this. Um, me and Christy was exchanging, um, what's the, what's the, um, TikTok, Christy, that we were, that we watch? Uh, is it the Natty? I think it's called Natty 2024, like, I guess, for your cheerlead national championships. But, um, Christy sent me, a TikTok of the the dance routine to um, Dream On by Aerosmith. And then I was like, you got to check out Smooth Criminal, the Michael Jackson one. It's so good. If you've not seen it, I will let you know. Um, actually, it's freezing here. It's miserable. It is cold. The wind is blowing. The wind chill is like negative 500 degrees, if that's even a number. Um, all right. It's freezing. We're not used to this here in Alabama. So we're going to start with our Saint makeup. This is the contour. Henna. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yes, it was the University of Minnesota that you saw. You saw both of the... Oh. Lisa's, I knew Lisa would. Lisa's a cheer mom. She does all that stuff. I knew that you would. All right. We're going to start here. This is the 3D brush. This is what started Saint. This was this in four shades is what started Saint Beauty into the empire it is today. Okay. I like to kind of squeeze this together and just, I hear my dog outside trying to come in. It drives her crazy that I'm here talking. I'll have to let her in in a minute. You hear her nails at the door? Again, this is henna. It's so pretty. Well, I ha no, I don't think she's she's not sick anymore. I mean, she's only thrown up that one time. My dog threw up today, and then I also stepped in dog mess this morning and tracked it. I've told Christy my whole entire saga. I stepped in dog mess this morning. Tracked it all over the kitchen. Had to mop up the kitchen. When the cleaners came, I had to tell them, please mop the kitchen really good. Like, they use bleach water. And then, um, 
my other dog came in and threw up. It was, I, I was like, I took, th I took three steps off the carport to bring the garbage can up and I picked a pile of dog crap and they don't never crap around the house. I don't, that's a nice word, isn't it? Sorry. They don't ever do that. They usually go off into the little fields and stuff. No, they apparently went five feet from the house and I was in my house shoes and found it. It was a debacle today. I've had the disastrous day. All right, this is my contour. If you want a um, contour without, you know, a warm base, like most of the contours are going to be cooler than a bronzer, but there are some contours that if you said between cool and warm, they would tend to be a little bit more warm. Henna is really pretty. A story is too, but I kind of feel like it goes dirty on some people. Um, cedar, I love cedar. I don't feel like it's warm at all, but I think ash, henna, um, if you're really fair, you could probably do aspen, but that's, that's really light. So I would think ash, henna, or cedar, depending on what your skin tone is. You can always send me a picture and let me see what, you know, I think the, the best one for you would be, and I'd be happy to tell you. Now, shadow, to me, is really cool. It's a gray, but there's not, it's really good nose contour, but if you're not careful and you don't get it blended out well, it can also go south quick on your, on your cheeks. So, uh, no, cedar is, um, cedar is not cool, but it's not super warm either. Like this is a, uh, this is cedar. It is, it's a good mixture, but I don't feel like it's as warm as like olive might be or indigo might be, um, or stone. But I love cedar. I think it looks good on everyone that I've put it on. It's looked really good They're on, depending on their skin tone. It's just been one that I feel like a lot of people can wear. Now we're going to pop over to our main shade. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really a fan of the orange either. But sometimes I will bronze myself up to probably <laughs> look like I'm trying out for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I kind of like bronzer, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, now I'm going to use this. Okay. It depends on what contour you are using. Um, sometimes, if I'm not careful... Let me see. I'm going to zoom you in here. No, in all my glory. Um see my spots and stuff too. Now look, I would need to go in and do a little bit. If I, right now, it, it, I want to say that doesn't look just the best if I just left it like this. But once I put on all my makeup together and my bronzer and uh, my lip and cheek, it looks a lot, um, kind of marries it all together and it looks good. But the more something closely related to whatever color spots that you have, like for me, olive, as much as I love all the other contours, olive works the best at concealing for me. I also like walnut. It does really well. Um, those are a little bit more warm contours, but they mimic almost the same colors that I have. And so when you have a dark spot, if you go a little bit dark around it or something similar to it, it makes it camouflage into into itself so that where it's not that noticeable and then I will go in if I wanted a little bit darker contour and then maybe chisel the bottom of it with a darker contour because olive is not super dark but you can also carve it out where it makes it pop a little bit more um if you are using uh, if you have rosacea if you do use a contour that is a little bit too warm it will also pull muddy or dirty on you. So we just need to kind of figure out what color you are wearing and then um, 
we'll see what maybe if you need a different like tone or something so if you want to send me a picture and say look i mean i'm sitting here showing you all my glory and whatever so just send me your picture either with with your makeup the ones and tell me what you're wearing and we'll go from there um da -da 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 Okay, if you just sign up as an artist, um, if you just now signed up as an artist, then you will get several different colors. Congratulations to the best. Um, you'll get several colors to choose from, and I would tell this to anybody as an artist, play in those colors. Even the colors you do not think is going to look good on you. Go ahead and play in them because you will be so surprised. I did a series where I said, I'm going to try all these colors. And almost every single thing that I tried worked. I made it work. And I was like, whoa, you can really think outside the box. And then the more you know how the colors look on you and what they do and stuff, you can tell your customers about it. So play in those colors. All right. Now, this right here, we're going to use this end of the 3D brush. And I'm going to go into the color Sandy. And you could either, if you wanted to do a swap, you could. It will deposit deposit a lot of product because this is full coverage. So I'm just going to kind of bounce and apply. Look how cute these little lemon earrings are. They have a little green stem. The green is exactly the same color as my shirt, so I had to wear them. These are my, probably my favorite earrings from the B. Marie Market. And she's fixing to have a subscription box. I'm so excited about that. You can get two pair of earrings for 35 bucks and they will not be available on her website and it'll be a surprise. I love all her earrings. All right, so that's the color Sandy. And I'm just gonna kinda look in the mirror there. Y'all, I have, my face is all 5,000 different colors. So it's not good skin. I do not have good skin. My skin is better than it's probably ever been, but it still is not the best. I just wasn't blessed with good skin, and that's fine. It's not perfect. But I love my skin now. Between a good skin care routine and this makeup, I love my skin more now than I ever have. I'm more comfortable in my skin. Oh, the things I could go back and tell my younger self. This is the color Aura. So it's a few shades lighter. And this is really just for brightening. Not necessarily for concealing. If you're going to conceal, conceal with a little bit darker. If you were looking for brightening, that's why we call it a brightening highlight. This is what I'm doing is brightening the areas, just the center of my face. Because it kind of, all of a sudden, it kind of brings it to life. And like here, where I may have went down too low or whatever, I just take this right here and I swoop it right up under it. Cleans that puppy right up. Look at that. And I would see people do that, and I would think, I could never do that. You get a brush, and if you don't give it two second thoughts, and you do it, you're like, well, I'm a makeup artist. And sign up. <laughs> Join my team. All right, I'm flipping it over to this side, and then we're going to blend it. Because these three shades that I have on are my perfect foundation shades. And these little palettes here, you can get all different sizes. I like this one. It's got three layers because I have a lot of extra different colors because I just like to, I like to have several lip and cheek op options. I like to have a couple of bronzers in there, my eyeshadows. I just like to have all the extras. You don't have to. I love it. You can go as small or as big as you want to. But our skin changes, and so sometimes I'm like, oh, I think I'm, I feel like I'm a little pale today. So then I, I might want to go a little bit, you know, lighter color or darker color or whatever. And that's why I like to have a couple of different ones. And I am so thirsty. I would love to have a Dr. Pepper right, right this minute. Okay, so I did a little bit of nose contour while ago, but you can't see it because I didn't blend it all out. <laughs> Which is not what you're supposed to do. You put it there for a reason. So I'm going to go back in just a second and put just a little bit more on my nose. 
I'm probably the worst at nose contour. But now I also don't want it to look like I have, you know, these big dark lines on my eyes, on my nose. Let me drag that down a little bit. So I'm going to take my um, ring fingers and I'm going to go back into, was it henna? Yeah, let me go back to henna. And look at all these. These are highlight shades. <laughs> I'm going to go back to henna, take my ring fingers and just dip it in here a couple times. There's not a lot on here. And then we'll do right down the And I'll still kind of blend it a little bit. And then I'll go back with just another pop of that brightening highlight. Which was Aura. I really like Sunlit too. But I, ha I have just been obsessed with Aura lately. So that's really the only one that I've been using. Alright. So now that's my... That's my foundation and I'm not flat. Like sometimes your foundation, you're really flat, but um, when you use highlights and contours together, it creates a different, like, you know, I'm going to bronze a little bit, but if I didn't bronze, that would be fine. And if I didn't put on any blush, that would be fine. But I, I feel like I need it. Um, do, 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 do. Did I miss anything? No. Yep. Sorry. I know. I love earrings too. Oh, thank you. Um, I have been trying to slow down and do more. Y'all can wait a second. I need a Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'm, I am so thirsty right now. Um, I have learned to try to say, I'm going to go in my stories more. So, I don't know if y'all follow me in my stories, but I try to show up in my stories every day and do at least an eye look of different colors. And it's not even, you know what, I usually don't even wear a lot of different colors. I'm a creature of habit. I want to use the same ones every time. I'm trying to find a spoolie because my eyebrows are driving me crazy. Um, I'm a creature of habit. And so, uh, I thought, you know what? It pushes me outside of my comfort zone a little bit to try different colors. And I have found that I absolutely love eyeshadows more than I ever thought that I would. So, I go on my stories every day. We're going to bronze, too, as I'm talking. Now, we're, we're still using the same brush. I go on my stories every day and do an eyeshadow look if I can. And then it saves down. And then I just post it in a couple days back to my social media so that it's saved. Because I, then I had people say, I, I was looking for your eye look you did the other day. Well, if it's in my stories, it goes away and I, I can't do it again. So, I slow down and I think eyeshadows intimidate people. But it's really easy because I use the same technique every time. I'm not good with anything but the same technique in case y'all can't tell. This is the Bella Bronzer. Amy, really? Mine comes in tomorrow, too. Which you're just an hour or so away from me. Um, y'all. Y'all. I got the lip oil. I want to show you this, too, in just a second. This is what I... I think... This is the Dior Lip Glow. Okay? I'm going to show you this in just a second. Let me go ahead and get my... um. Pretty. It looks like I got a cheat color on, and that's just my bronzer, okay? That's why I love to, to put this on. Let's look at my skin up close. I mean, does it not look so much better? And even this right here where you can see a little bit of that. No, I could go in if I wanted to and do just a little bit more correction and stuff, but that's not even that noticeable. I'm really so much more comfortable in my skin than what I was in my early 20s, and I'm 46. Um... We're going to do Madrid real quick, and then I want to show you this Dior Glow, because I also got the the lip oil that we have for the artist's birthday. I got the four eyeshadows. I got the um, lipstick. I'm super excited about the lipstick, and of course, it sold out within no time. 
So, you know, in true Saint fashion, if they release something, you've got to jump on it. Or, um, where's my, oh no, there it is. Sorry, low battery. <laughs> I have low battery. My phone paused. Um, we're going to do Madrid because I think Madrid is so pretty because it's a peachy color and it goes good with the green. It's a pinky, peachy color. Oh, I just love this. Yes, I got, um, what else did I get? I didn't get the pink palette because I have so, look up there. I have a lot of palettes and that's not even all of them. And I, I don't really use, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. This little farmhouse check, whatever it's called, this tank. I don't know. I have a tons that I've never used. I do giveaways or give them away sometimes to um, friends and family. But isn't that really, really pretty? On my eyes, I'm wearing butterscotch. I put as you wish a little bit on my lid and then a little bit of cocoa. And then I use the LA Colors Bold Lash. It's really pretty. And I did the um, cocoa underneath it too. So that's Madrid super duper pretty um and we're gonna do the lip real quick but before we do the lip let me show you this so this is the dior lip glow i used to be probably um more of a a brand snob like i wanted to try i was in sephora i went to sephora more than i even did ulta because i thought sephora carried more high-end stuff and i was always and I know this sounds terrible. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Um, Sephora, I felt like carried stuff that I didn't want all drugstore things. I kept thinking I needed more expensive stuff to make me, to make my skin look prettier, to make me feel more comfortable, to wear well on, you know, I just, I just thought I needed it. You know, I thought you gotta spend more if you want to look better. And so, um, Saint kind of changed all that, but, uh, I have this from a couple several years ago and this is the Dior lip glow it was 40 bucks because I love a lip balm and I thought oh I gotta have this why don't you look at it if you can tell it can you see I don't know if you can or not but there is little 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 gold shimmers in this let me put it on my hand too I feel like the lip gloss or the lipstick from Saint is going to be very similar. I think it's going to be a little bit of a pinky color with some kind of shimmers inside of it. I love this. And then I quit using it much because I was like, Ugh, I didn't want to waste it. And then it wasn't long before I started using Saint. And then I was like, I felt prettier. My skin felt better. I felt like it looked really good. I didn't worry about walking outside and what I was going to look like or anything. And so, Saint changed every bit of that. And I don't think I have been inside of a Sephora, but maybe once or twice in two and a half or three years. Now, I go to Ulta sometimes to get hair stuff because I love my IGK products. And then I love drugstore stuff. I just, I don't know. Saint changed my whole makeup routine. I have no desires for anything else. Look how pretty that is. And you, the camera does not pick up a well, as well because I can look at my lips here and it's just gold shimmers that I can see as I move it around. It doesn't, the camera doesn't do it justice. Um, but I think this is what the Saint lipstick is going to be. So I'll compare those whenever I get it. Mine comes in tomorrow too. Um, and I am going to outline my lips a little bit though with this um, LA color, $2, um, $3 uh, lip stuff. I'm just gonna kinda go around it. This is a lot of balm that I have on. I coated it like I will never put lipstick on again. So I needed to try to hydrate. We'll let it set for a minute and then I'll do my lips together. I heard also the same thing that someone did the crimson um, with a lip balm and somebody else said that they used 
Do you hear my dogs? Somebody else said they used another lip color, another um, eyeshadow with a balm, and I can't remember what it was, but it was a reddish pigment too. Um, ooh, mix it with black cherry. Did you like the red palette? That's my red palette here. Do you see this? This was last year though. I just have op I just have used it in the last month. I've had this for over a year since last Valentine's Day, and I've just I've just now used it. Um, on my nails, I have two colors from LA. Um, two colors from LA colors. It's a some kind of purple holographic. It's right here, hang on. Hold, please. They're right here. Yeah, I love I love LA colors. So affordable. Um, I'm using the base coat is called Seduce Me. And this one, look at this. It's a holographic, it's a shimmer, but it's really um kind of sheer and it's purple. And it's called um Wonder. Like Wonder Around. And I got these two on together. One coat of this and one coat of this. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Um, let's see. That's really all I have. Maybe it will be. Um, I really, I really wanted that black shimmery palette, but I don't want it in 18. You know why? Because 18 is not big enough for me. It might be big enough for some people, but see, I use this triple because I like to have, this is what my palette looks like. So it's got, these are my highlight shades and a little bit of, um, uh, mango. I don't, that's too dark for me, but I will put that on some of my spots or even sometimes under my eyes. Like if I ever get a little bit of blue, mango will cover redness. It will cover, um, it covers a lot. Um, magic mango. I, if you don't have mango, unless you're super duper fair, you need mango. It's just an extra color because you could put it on the, even the spots like, like this. I could put it on this one a little bit. And it will just about make it go away. It's crazy. You can do it under blue, purple eyes. If you have um, uh, zits and stuff. Mango works wonders. It's good for covering, concealing. Alright, so. That was bothering my lips. So, these are my highlight shades. And then these are my three contours that I go back and forth. So, I like to have options. You honestly could get by with just three of these. Two highlights and a contour. And that's really all you need. But, it, once you become obsessed and you want, you want more of it. You like to have other options. Today, you might want to go a little darker. You might want to do this. That's where you might, you know, want a bigger palette. And then, my second layer is these are my bronzers i just have two billow bronzers because i'm just real sloppy with it and i like to just swirl together and then do it this is an illuminator this is the color nova i love nova i really like the rose gold it was probably one of my favorites but when they came out with nova i've not i've not looked back it's just a nice little shimmery sweetness that you can put a little sheen that just kind of gives you a little bit of extra glow on those highlights, high points of your face. And then this is six lip and cheeks because I want options. Do I feel kind of a red brown or a, like a brick like here? There's sandstone. Do I want, do I want kind of a, a orangey brown? Do I want bright pink? Do I want nudes? Do I want peaches? I don't know. I don't know from day to day what I want. So like today's Madrid, I wanted to wear that. It's not in this palette. I like to swap my colors out a lot. And then this is my eyeshadows and my um, vanilla dust. So I can take my little sponge and I can go through and I can set anywhere that I might crease. I try not to go over where I uh, put the little sheen illuminator. Anyway, it's just so easy and so pretty and convenient all in one palette. You can grab your brush, a palette, you're good to go. Okay, that's all I got. I'm so happy you guys enjoyed me tonight. And everybody's asking questions and I love to answer questions. Um, 
I don't think I missed anything. If I did, I apologize. I am usually the world's worst for doing, um, paying attention to comments, but I think I did pretty good tonight. So I won't pat myself on the back because normally I don't see them at all. And somebody will come back and say, hey, did you see that? I'm like, no, I did not see that. Uh, if you want a color match, it's colormatchbysusie.com. Again, it's Saint Beauty. And I would love to um, answer any of your questions. You can shoot me a, a message, an email, whatever. Thank you for watching.